Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will be working here on Lincoln MKX, guys, and what we will show you guys how to remove and replace the ambient uh, air temperature. If you guys have an engine light on and a code related to air ambient temperature, guys, stay with, stay with us. We will show you where the sensor is located. We will guys have uh, more than 200 videos on this car and every vehicle we get in the shop because our mission, guys, is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop a comment below. Let us know if the video was helpful, if you have any rec recommendations and all that stuff. So, now, let me guys explain what needs to be done. We have the bumper removed, all that stuff, because we're working on the front end of the vehicle. But practically, you can get to the sensor without removing the bumper. Okay, all you have to do on the grill on top, guys, okay. It's the same as a forward edge, by the way. Both of them are on the same platform. You have two bolts on top of the grill here. The whole video, guys, we have it on our channel, so check it out. But this is a quick explanation. We have the whole video how to do it on our main channel, uh, World Mechanics, guys. Check it out. Here, okay, you're going to have um, two bolts that you need to remove and three clips, four clips. Once you remove them, guys, okay, you pull the grill a little bit this way and you can get your hand, okay, and we'll show you where the sensor is located now. Without removing the bumper, I cannot stick the camera in and show you where things are. That's why we have it removed. Here you will have one clip, guys. Okay, one clip where it will attach, okay, to the support, radiator support, but ours is broken, and that's why the sensor is broken as well. And it just staying here like that. Since ours is broken, guys, it was hitting here, and the sensor is not good anymore. So how you guys replace it? Okay, you press in there, and you pull the sensor out. Okay, just like that guys. So, uh, if you guys have an engine light on or your exterior temperature does not work, it's probably due to that sensor. You always need to check your wiring harness as well. We you guys have the part numbers and all that stuff and where we get ours from in the description of the video below. So please check it out guys and if you have any questions, don't hesitate guys to drop a comment. Uh, let us know what you think and hopefully guys uh, the video the video will be uh, helpful to you we'll just uh, get a new one replace it in reverse order we took it apart thank you for watching and see you guys next time